What's going on YouTube? Back with another video and today I want to talk a little bit about mountain bike shoes. I actually made my first video about this topic last year, 2019, uh, I think it was around last spring. And I was discussing how I used Nike trail running shoes to uh, mountain bike with. And uh, I still use some of those. I still use some of my Nike trail running shoes uh, for mountain biking, but there's uh, some shoes that I want to recommend that definitely take the cape, which puts my Nike shoes to the side. But just to reflect real quick, the reason why I started off wearing Nike trail running shoes is because, and this is just one particular pair of them, is because a lot of the Nike trail running shoes actually have this grip at the bottom of it. And these little like, this little tread that's at the bottom or the sole of the shoe actually does lock into the pedal pretty good. But at the same time, I can't say that it locks on perfectly because there have been plenty of times where my foot has slipped. There's been plenty of times where um, it doesn't stay stable and that does cause problems when riding your bike on a trail. But for the most part, I still use this shoe. It's still a good shoe to mountain bike with. I'm not saying I wouldn't use Nike trail running shoes to mountain bike with because they are comfortable as well and they're pretty lightweight. But uh, there's another shoe that pretty much takes the cake for me at this point in time. And I know you guys have probably heard of them, and they are the 510 mountain bike free rider uh, mountain bike shoes. Um, these particular shoes if, are actually made by Adidas. The company 510, Adidas owns that company, and you can buy them on Adidas website. But for whatever reason, right now, if you go to the website, you don't see too many of them, too many of them on there. But you can go to other third-party websites like Amazon.com. You can go to Zappos. You can go to, um, uh, I think it's uh, Competitor Cyclist. I think uh, Worldwide Cycling sells them. Um, Jensen USA. Uh, a lot of the bike websites that sell bike parts sell these shoes. So you can still get them. But nowadays, um, a lot of the companies don't sell all of the colors that they used to sell. I know REI uh, sells them as well, um, but it's hard to find them at a sale price. Nowadays, it's hard to find the free rider in this style, and so on a lot of websites, they're going for regular price, but you can still find them out there. Uh, I'm just gonna show two particular colorways. These are the only two that I have, but these definitely make a difference when riding your bike. I have not had any slippage so far wearing these shoes because the grip is so good on the bottom of the sole. I have no problems uh, with my foot slipping off the pedal. So I'll show you one particular colorway. <clears throat> this is my favorite colorway. Um, this teal, blue, and orange. Uh, really, really nice shoe. Very, very comfortable. These aren't as lightweight as the Nike shoes because this sole is very heavy. But I'm telling you, the grip on this thing is absolutely amazing. And so I highly recommend this over any other mountain bike shoe, to be honest with you. Um, they do run true to size, so I wear a 12 in all of my Nikes and Jordans, and and uh, I wear a 12 in these. Uh, let's see, the other colorway is more of a tan. This this colorway right here, this teal colorway, you probably won't be able to find. It took me a long time to actually find this colorway, and even at that time, last year when I got these, um, this was the last pair they had. And it was some third party website that I never even heard of. And so uh, that's that one. And then the more earth tone brown pair. Now this one you can still find. I think these sell on uh, Amazon and they still sell on the REI website as well. Uh, same, same particular shoe, same grip, um, just a different colorway. You got the, the earth tone uh, brown and you have kind of a burnt orange uh, laces in there. Uh, the, the main difference between these two is this sole. This thing is just not slip. Even if the pedal is wet, it provides very, very good grip on your pedals. I use Chester, um, the Race Face Chester uh, pedals, and so even with those, um, it does a very, very good job. So other than that, I'm not going to make a long review on it just because um, I'm not going to make a long review on it because it's not a whole lot to say really about them. I just highly recommend them. If you don't have a pair and you can get a pair, I highly recommend you buy it and check it out. 
at least get one pair of those um, to see the difference between what you may be wearing now but I guarantee you once you put these on you won't go back to any other shoe so uh, if you still are wearing you know other shoes and they work for you that's fine like these particular Nikes have been holding up uh, the pedals have been doing you know a little bit of damage to them and they've gotten a lot of wear uh, just from you know riding my mountain bike but still highly recommend the the five tens over over any other shoe uh, I will do it on foot and then other than that guys after the on foot the video will end so I'll catch you in the next video please like and subscribe I don't really say that a whole lot in my videos but uh, you know I've been doing this for a while now so I really appreciate all the support all of my followers who've been with me since day one but if you could like and subscribe that would be great I really appreciate it I think you'll enjoy a lot of the content uh, that's on my videos so other than that you guys be safe I hope you're doing well happy Halloween today's Halloween and uh, I'll check you out in the next video. Peace.